welcome back to Sony Sunshine. As you can see, we're back in the office and you might hear some um, packaging going on because we've got Lisa and Celia in today packing up all your lovely orders. Thank you once again for all your orders. Today we're going to do a video all about linen. Now linen's one of my favourite types of fabric, especially in the warmer months and we get quite commonly asked questions about linen because we have so many different types of linen. We've got linen that obviously is 100% linen and then we've got a variety of different blends of different weights. So we thought it'd be really good for you guys to um, have a little video explaining what they all are. So firstly, just to remind you guys what linen is. So on the Sew Me Sunshine website, under every single different type of fabric type, you will see a description of fabric. So if you go on the cotton section, it will tell you what cotton is. And same if you went on the visco section and so on. So linen is made from the stem of the flax plant. So it's a natural fiber naturally occurring is seen as a very sustainable fiber because you don't actually need extra water to make it grow and um, you can just use just the normal rainwater um, so that's more um, environmentally friendly and also because it's a natural fiber it biodegrades um, naturally on its own so if it is thrown away then it won't stay there for a long long time like poly like a polyester for example and like I said earlier the reason it's really good for the warmer months is because it doesn't trap heat and also the yarn is like more thicker than like what you'd find with the cotton yarn so it can actually be like a looser weave um, and still hold some structure to it unlike a cotton and as I previously mentioned, it can be blended with lots of different fibres as well. Obviously that will have an impact on the biodegradable element of the type of fabric, um, but that just depends on what it is blended with. Right, so let's show you some of our linens. So we've got an absolutely massive range of different colours of plain enzyme wash linen. These linens are 100% linen, so you get all the amazing properties where it's really nice and cool to wear, especially obviously in the warmer months. Um, and it's completely natural fiber because it's 100% linen. And the enzyme washed element to it just means that it's been washed, um, which means that it's got like a, a softer texture than what you'd find with some other 100% linens and obviously over time with washing it in the washing machine it will soften even more and with this one like I said it's washed with enzymes so that is a more environmentally friendly way of softening the linens than using chemicals for example. Um, so as I said it comes in a huge range of different colours this is our like mustard colour um, and it's completely, they're completely opaque. They are like kind of like a medium weight. They've got quite a bit of structure to them. I've seen some amazing things made in these like loose fitted dungarees, to dresses, to loose fitted jackets as well. We do have some printed 100% linen fabric in stock as well. This is one of them here, but um, to find 100% linen in a print is quite hard to source so you're more likely to find like a solid colour which is actually a bit more wearable. We picked out some patterns to hopefully help you understand what this type of fabric would work well with. So we've gone for like the factory dress by Merchant and Mills which is obviously quite a loose fit which is perfect for 100% linen. And then we've also got the Sierra jumpsuit by Paper Cut for Patterns, which again would work really well. And like we said, so like a loose fitted kind of dungaree slash jumpsuit would be perfect in this and really good for the warmer weather. So this is one of the blends we've got in stock. So we've got a huge range of different colours in this cotton linen blend it's got a slightly looser weave to the enzyme washed linen i've just shown you 
um, and it's still got that lovely structure that you get with the enzyme wash linens but it is slightly lighter in weight um, it's a little bit rougher actually in texture because it hasn't been washed or chemically treated in any way but again it would soften with washes all of them are completely opaque which is perfect and it makes it a lot more versatile to make yourself again like a loose fitted jumpsuit or loose fitted trousers and you'd still get the nice kind of cool um, feeling from wearing them in the warm months because obviously you've got the cotton and the linen which are both natural fibres so you've still got that biodegradable element as well these have really beautiful rich colours in them and as I said we've got a rainbow um, different selection in stock um, we picked out the By Hand London Tamsin dress for this one which we think would be really um, statement especially in the bright fuchsia pink Thing would be really really good in this um, so that's one of our cotton linen blends and then we've got this beautiful printed cotton linen blend we've got a couple of printed cotton linen blends this one's currently back just back in stock what I love about this one is that it's actually got an unbleached um, background finish so you can see the small flecks throughout the background which is actually the natural linen fibre which is I think is really beautiful. Again it's got a slightly uh, rough finish to it because obviously it's not been chemically treated to soften it and again it will soften over time when you're um, washing it in the washing machine. Um, because again it's got the nice blend, cotton linen blend, it's nice and breathable and it also will be biodegradable. It has quite a bit of structure to it as you can see here. Um, slightly lighter in weight than the other solid cotton linen blend I've just shown you um, but not by a lot. And despite the light coloured background it's still opaque which is perfect. We thought it'd be really lovely for a summer Charlie Kaftan by Closet Core Patterns. It'd make a really beautiful version, especially the full length dress version, I think it would look lovely with this print. Next, I wanted to show you with the cotton linen blends is these cotton linen blends from Atelier Brunette. Now, the reason I've decided to show you this one as well as these two is because it's very different in texture, feel, and drape, and the weight. So it is lighter weight than this plain version here and even this printed version and it is also softer as well. It's got a slightly tighter weave, more similar to the enzyme wash linens but it's still got that lovely structure and you'll still get that lovely breathable um, fabric from it being a linen cotton blend. With this, again, it comes in a lot of different range of colours, all the Atelier Brunette colours that we love, and they'd be really good to kind of, you could mix and match some of the colours to make a really statement outfit from. We were saying that we think it'd be really good for the Closet Core Patterns Kilo top, because you'd still get, especially for this big sleeve, it'd give a nice structure to that sleeve, so it'd make it really statement as well. This one is the, it's called Off White. It's almost like a creamy color. And it's got, it is slightly sheer. Um, and something else to note actually with all the cotton linen blends is because it's a blend, you always get like a natural, I call it slub um, texture. So certain areas will be slightly more raised or prominent than the other. And that's, that's just what you get with, with a linen. It's very normal and it makes it very special and um, very unique as well. So I thought we thought it would be really good to highlight um, the canvases from, well, it's Cotton and Steel, but it's, this is obviously Rifle Paper Company. So with these, they're called canvases because they're a lot thicker. You don't get kind of that you get a slight linen texture to it but it's a very it's a lot tighter weave and it's very structured as well so 
this does have linen in it it is a linen cotton blend um, but like I said it's it's woven in a way that is more structured and it gives it gives that kind of classic canvas finish so you can see if I drop it here it's very structured fabric um, so it can be actually not just used for garment making you can use it for bag making as well um, I've seen some amazing jackets made out of this type of fabric as well um, again it's a cotton linen so it'll be biodegradable which is perfect and with this one actually you don't really get that slight slub like texture because the linen content is a lot less um, than the cotton content I've also seen some amazing garments made up in it with skirts and pinafores so we picked out the Tilling the Buttons Bobby um, because it's a very structured pinafore or you've got the also the skirt version as well which is nice and structured and if you didn't want to do button buttons and buttonholes again you could use poppers so it'd be really beautiful in this and make it really statement piece so next up the next blend that you'll see lots of and it per is personally my favorite um blend is uh, linen viscose blend the reason it's one of my favorites is because you still get that lovely breathable element from the linen but the viscose gives it that lovely drape um, fluidity um, movement to your garment which means that you can make lovely flowy dresses um, very easily with this type of fabric so this one we've got in quite a range of different colors we're just waiting on the lilac to come back in stock but all the other colours I believe are in stock at the moment. This is our coral colourway um, and it's called um, a viscose linen slub on the website and that's because it does have a very predominant um, linen slub texture to it. It's incredibly soft and unlike any of the fabrics I've shown you already, this has what I'd call almost a fluid drape to it. It's got a very nice drape and movement. You would need to finish your seams with this because obviously it does fray very easily but it would make a lovely um, summer dress garment and again you could play with the different colours of the viscose linen slub. So compared to the others, compared to the 100% linen and the cotton linen blend, it's lighter in weight generally. It's normally got a more fluid drape to it, so it's better for those kind of flowy garments. And you will find more so with printed viscose linen, you'll see more different prints. So this is one of our prints we've got in stock at the moment. As you can see, it's got lovely drape and movement to it. Um, and again, has a very classic linen texture. With viscose linen, you'll find that there's um, a range of kind of percentages to viscose and linen. So the higher the viscose content, the more drape um, and movement you, would, you will tend to see. Whereas if you have a higher linen content, it will be slightly more structured as well. So that's kind of the differences. We've picked out two patterns here. Again, the kilo, especially the dress version, would work very well in the viscose linen slubs and then you've got the calvin um, by true bias again would work beautifully in these fabrics so our next linen blend that i'm going to briefly talk about is our tensile linen blends with this type of blend it's actually a linen lyocell blend but the reason we can refer to the lyocell as being tensile is because they have been certified by lensing. There's a, a quite a few different steps within lensing in order for it to be certified as tensile because tensile is a trademark name. So at Sew Me Sunshine, you won't find any of our fabrics that, that are called tensile unless they have been actually certified by lensing. And what's perfect about tensile is not only do you have that reassurance that it is actually made in a, is in a very environmentally friendly way compared to your standard lyocell, it also has um, a point where it also looks at the ethics of the, the factory that makes it, so the people being who work there are being well cared for. 
So that's another benefit of Tencel. So with that um, certification, it comes at a cost. So you will find with Tencel fabrics, they are slightly more pricey, but there's a reason to that. So we've got some Tencel linen um, fabrics in stock from Pigeon Wishes actually. The lovely Megan and her husband run Pigeon Wishes in Liverpool. And I couldn't resist um, this beautiful lilac colour and we've got a couple of other colours as well in stock. So they're completely opaque and a bit like um, viscose, the tensile fibres gives it more drape and movement to what you'd find with 100% linen or a linen cotton blend. It's got that beautiful kind of slub-like texture which is obviously very common with linen and it's lovely and breathable because of the linen content. Again, like all linens, you'd have to finish your seams. And also we've got a beautiful printed tensile linen, which I've actually never seen um, a printed tensile linen before. And these are very different. So this is softer, almost got like a sand washed finish to it and is lighter and it has a really good drape to it. Um, whereas this has a lot of a tighter weave. So it's called a PK type of weave, which means it is a lot tighter. Um, so it means it makes it slightly more structured, but it's still got enough drape for it to be used as a dress or um, a garment that re requires a bit of drape to it. And like I said, with this one and this one, they're both opaque, so you won't have to worry about lining your garment either. Interesting enough, with this type of tighter weave, actually creases less compared to this one. But again, not massively. You're always gonna find some creasing when it comes to linen. That's just the nature of linen and you just have to embrace it. <laughs> That's what I feel like anyway, whenever I wear any of my linen garments. So we've picked out some for, um, patterns for you. Um, so for the lilac, we thought, and actually any of the other colors we've got in stock, we thought that the free range slacks by Sohow 7 would be a really good pattern to make with them. And then for the printed one, we thought it'd be beautiful as the sundress by Avid Seamstress. I mean, it'd look gorgeous because this has like a pineapple print all over it and it's really quite abstract kind of foliage design. So it would be perfect for a little summer dress. The last linen blend that we wanted to talk to you about today was is actually a knitted fabric so all of the fabrics I've shown you so far are woven fabrics and this is a knitted fabric and it's really special jersey because it does have a linen content within it so it is a big blend and it does have a small percentage of polyester in it so unlike the other fabrics I've shown you obviously it doesn't have the benefit of the biodegradable element within it because of the polyester element within the fabric. However, it's got a lovely kind of, again, that classic slub linen texture. And I think it's emphasized even more in these jerseys because of the mild effect you get with it. This is, I believe our, we've called it dusky pink. It's almost like a lilac-y, pinky color. It's got a good amount of stretch to it. It's got 40% crosswise and 20% lengthways. And it actually has a pretty good recovery, which is rare for a linen jersey. So I have looked at sourcing 100% linen knitted fabrics. However, I found, unfortunately with that, it just doesn't really work as a knitted fabric, I found that when they're stretched, they just have zero recovery to them. So it, you'd make a gar like a knitted garment, and then as soon as it's worn, it will be misshapen until you wash it again. Whereas because this is a blend, you've still got that classic kind of jersey recovery to it. And when it's stretched as well, it's just completely opaque still. You don't have to worry about any bits of it looking misshapen or anything like that when wearing it. Um, it'd be amazing as a cardigan. Um, the one of the cardigans we've got in stock is the Juniper Cardigan by Jennifer Lauren. And 
all of the different colors would look really nice as this cardigan and you could even use a diff few different colors to make like a color blocked version as well um and then i've also said on the website it could make like a loose fitted jersey tee you could make a fitted one as well i just think it'd be really nice as a loose fitted one because obviously you'd be aiming to wear this type of knitted fabric in the warmer months because of the linen content will make it breathable despite that small percentage of polyester within the fabric. So I hope you've really enjoyed learning all about the different types of linen blends and 100% linen that we have in stock at Sew Me Sunshine but you will see them all across different websites. So hopefully that will help you when you're shopping online for different types of linen. At Sew Me Sunshine, we always try and make it a bit easier for you by obviously giving a description of the type of fabric and giving suggestions on what type of patterns would work well with that fabric. And then we also break down the type of drape whether it's opaque or not and the weight so obviously the bigger the number the heavier the fabric the lower the number the lighter the fabric and also with linen just to, so that you're all aware because we get asked this quite a lot with linen you will find it does crease with the blends it creases a little bit less and obviously the more that you wash your linen garment it will soften over time which will reduce the amount it creases but I do think that is the beauty of linen, of those creases really enhance the garment. And it's, in some respects, I think it's really good to embrace those creases and um, yeah, just enjoy the actual linen as a fiber to wear. It, you're always gonna find a little bit of creasing in the garment. So yeah, I would just personally embrace it. But like I said, if you've got a blend with linen, you're less likely to get creases normally. It just depends on the different type of fabric. Anyway, like I said, I hope that's helped you with your linen sewing journey. And I hope that the patterns we've shown you as well has given you a little bit of inspiration. Can't wait to see you make um, some amazing things in our linen fabrics at Sew Me Sunshine don't forget to tag us on social media with our hashtag sewing sunshine and uh, let us know below in the comments which one's been your favorite one you've seen today and I'll see you soon thank you for watching bye